So I got my uh, new biking shoes in today. Venzo uh, Pro cycling shoes, which are really great, really nice. I just tried them on, very comfortable. I will tell you, if you are an American size person, uh, go a size larger. So if you wear 13s, go 14s. Um, because I'm a 13 and these uh, 14s fit me great. Okay, so that's what came in this box here was uh, these shoes, new cycling shoes. I bought them on Amazon. I'll leave you a link below as to where you can buy them. Also, these look snap-ins come with the shoes. So should your bike take look clip-ins, clip um, you do not have to buy these. They are included with the shoe. However, if you use the Shimano uh, SPDs, which is what my bike uses, so you need to look at those pedals and make sure that if you're getting the same bike as me, then they're the SPD. If you're getting a different bike, you need to check. Uh, cheaper models don't give you the SPD or look clippings typically in the pedals. On the upper models, uh, the more expensive ones, they include the look ones. These are only included with the shoes. However, my bike, the, the uh, spinning chrono does not take the look binding snap-ins. However, it does take the snap-in SPD, the Shimano SPD cleat set uh, that you can see here, which are the metal ones. These are plastic. And on these shoes, what's nice about them is that you can put either or on your shoe. You can't put them both on there at the same time, but you can put one or the other. So these would go in the three larger holes. And the SPDs go into these two tracks right here. And those are the ones I'm going to install right now. So I'll show you how to do that. You'll need an Allen key for these. And you'll see this rough side, it's knurled. They call this knurling, okay? That goes on the bottom. And then you'll see the um, washer that holds the two screws. So there is a flat part and there's a tapered part. The tapered part is gonna be uh, turned up. So when the screw goes in, it sits flat in, in there. And you can see this. Uh, you can see there there's tapered, okay, or countersunk. And on the back, it's flat, the washer. So if you put the flat side up, the screw's not going to fit flat. This is the knurled side. And this is the top of the uh, cleat. So I'm going to put the washer in there, as you can see, and it fits in there and it slides back and forth. That's so you can adjust the angle. And you're going to have to do that down on the bike uh, to get proper fit. And you also want to make sure that, see, this also slides backwards and forwards. So you're going to kind of want to get center of your ball or your foot, okay? So that's a little aligning you're going to have to do. You may have to adjust it uh, a few times, um, but you, you'll, uh, you'll figure it out. You're going to need a 5, a 5 30 seconds Allen key, okay, for this uh, screw. And now I'm going to, so you can put it either in the front holes or the back holes. Okay, depending on where you're trying to position. 
The back will give you more center, depending on your shoe. This is more forward. So you can see, and then I can pull it back a little bit till about there. I don't know what setting is gonna be proper for me, but I'm gonna go with the back one. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push it all the way forward. And I'm gonna try that. If it works out for me, great. If it doesn't, I'm gonna take it apart and then I'm gonna adjust them again. You'll see how you fit, how your leg aligns for proper alignment. That's another video I'll do for you. How do you properly align your foot with your knee in the bike? All right, so you can see here that we're running into a little problem. You gotta get that up and slide that in properly. Okay. There's one screw in, and now I'm going to put the other screw. And these go in tight. They're very snug when they go in, which is what you want, because you don't want your screws coming out as you're riding. You're going to want to keep this alignment, this pin, running straight, okay? And there really isn't a horizontal uh, adjustment here. There's no horizontal. It's just a vertical adjustment forward. And I think that that's going to be good for me. And I'm going to just tighten it down. You don't want to over tighten, but you just want to make it nice and tight and snug. Okay. So that one's done. And now I'm going to do the other one. And you want to do the same for both. Whatever you do on this shoe, you want to make sure you do on the other one. Otherwise, your feet are going to feel out of alignment and uh, with your legs. Um, and that's not going to be uh, a pleasant fit when you're all done. I'm going to slide a screw in there. Then I'm going to put it in here. And again, this also has an arrow, as you'll see here, arrow is pointing forward to make sure that that arrow is, paint, is uh, pointing forward. So you make sure you put the right side in. This is the front, this is the back. The back is the square end. That's the side that really locks in. And I'm gonna take the Allen key and just move this forward. Like so. You can see the four holes there are forward. Whoop, just went back. So we'll push it forward again. And now we'll align it. One screw is in, just snugged it up a little bit. Never want to tighten it totally up, you just want to snug them in place until you have them both in tightened up. Okay, I'm then just going to look at it, align it, and then I'm going to want to take a look so you can see how I'm a little bit off between the two. This one here, I'm all the way over. You can see the space here that I'm this way more. And this one you can see I'm more centered. So I'm going to adjust this so I'm more centered. I didn't tighten it up yet, but it's, it's a little snug. And I'm going to move it over. And just try to center it. And tighten it up. So they're equal. And then you'll, as you ride, you'll, you'll feel how, you, how your leg aligns. All right, all good. Let's go downstairs and clip them in and see how they work. All right, so now I have my shoe on and I'm gonna clip it in. And you just gotta make sure you got it in the right spot, like that. And there it is. It's locked in. And the way to take it out is you just twist. 
Okay? So it goes, goes in like this. And then you hear a clip. And as you can see, all locked in. All right. And then take it out, twist, and they pop out. All right, guys, if you like what you see, please share my videos. Uh, please ask me any questions you may have. Uh, hit the bell for future videos, and um, you can give me a thumbs up. Have a great day.